and the body of a slain Pennsylvania state trooper arriving in his hometown of Cory this afternoon. Fellow troopers and family members and friends all waiting on the tarmac and in town to receive the body of the fallen officer. 29-year-old Jacques Rougeau Jr. was killed Saturday when a gunman shot through the windshield of his patrol car. State police say the shooting was part of what appeared to be an hours-long ambush. Matt Mathias is at the Bracken Funeral Home in Cory, where Trooper Rougeau's body has been taken. Matt. Well, Sean and Jen, an emotional scene here in Cory today as a private plane carrying the body of Jacques Rougeau landed a little after 3 o'clock at the Cory Airport. As you said, Trooper Rougeau's family and fellow officers were on the tarmac waiting to receive his body. At the airport, Trooper Rougeau's body was loaded into a hearse, then escorted by dozens of law enforcement vehicles to the Bracken Funeral Home. Trooper Rougeau is a 2012 graduate of Cory High School. He enlisted with the Pennsylvania State Police in 2020 and had been assigned to Troop G of the Lewistown Station since March of 2023. He is the 104th member of the State Police to give his life in the line of duty. He was very kind, he was compassionate, he was caring. Uh, he definitely was out there and wanted to help people, which I saw early on when he was in high school. You know, and furthermore, when he wanted to get into law enforcement, that, that burning desire to help people was still there. A second officer, Lieutenant James Wagner, was also shot Saturday at the incident. Wagner is currently in critical condition at Penn State's Hershey Medical Center. The suspect, Brandon Stein, was also killed by police during the standoff. 